Hi everyone, Rob here again at Power Learning Solutions and this is the latest in my video series on how to create your own courses using the Canvas Learning Management System. This video was actually inspired by an inquiry from one of my students who was wondering about how to create some differentiated pathways using a, uh, a Canvas course. Um, just to give you an example of what we're looking at here, this student was looking at creating three different pathways for different categories of employees. So some of the employees would have to uh, complete some of the activities and some of the quizzes. Uh, others would have to complete them all. So how do you set this up and, uh, and set it so that different categories of employees can do different pathways within the same course? Well, the easiest way to do that is not to base your course completion and your and your credentialing for your employees on their grades and their pass fail for the course but to use a digital badging system so i've gone and set up this sample differentiated course here and under my course settings i have added a couple of apps i typically add uh, youtube but in this case i've also added my badger app and I have a number of different badges that I've already pre-configured. So I'm using them for my example here. I have some basic text on my homepage, uh, like you would on any course homepage, and then instructions for uh, students to click here to begin. And now here is how I have actually differentiated my pathways. So to differentiate my pathways, I start by adding uh, three little quizzes here, getting started areas. So it depends on what category of employee you are. In this case, I'm using uh, all employees, uh, team leads or administrators, and advanced, which is uh, department chairs in this example. So I'm going to ask uh, if you're uh, under the category of all employees, you complete this quiz. It's a one question, yes, no quiz. If you are a team lead or department chair, you complete this one. And if you're a department chair, you complete this one as well. So department chairs would need to complete both of these uh, in order to get access to the advanced questions. I've set up these quizzes as completion requirements for each of these modules up here. So if you uh, complete this, uh, access to the basics here you get your completion for this module that is actually set up now as a prerequisite for the content modules down here so this first one is open to all employees and my topic for this one is digital accessibility basics and i have a prerequisite set here under the modules to uh, complete the getting started all employees module so they have to have passed this quiz to unlock this module Likewise, down here for using apps, I've indicated this one is open to two of the categories, the admin and the advanced. So that's the team leads and uh, the department heads in this case. And in order to get access to this one, you have to have completed that second getting started module, the one for admin. And likewise, down here for the third one, you have to have completed that advanced quiz. Again, it's just a yes, no quiz, and it unlocks this for you. The next thing I've done here, I've added some content. I've added a, a simple, in this case, yes, no quiz for each of these. And uh, I've set the completion of each of these quizzes as a completion requirement for this particular module. I have also linked badges to each of these content modules. So you'll see under the badges area here, it gives me a list of all the modules, that Digital Accessibility Basics one, I have a badge attached. Same for the uh, using apps and same for the games and education. Uh, so if you complete each of those modules, you get that particular badge. So basically the way that this works is that if you are all um, uh, under the All Employees category, you need to earn this badge. Whoever your issuer is for the badges using their Badger account can track who has been awarded these badges through the Badger account. And that's how you would credential your employees rather than based on a pass fail for the course. Likewise, for those who are team leads and uh, they fall under the admin category, they'd need to have this badge and this badge in order to, um, in order to, uh, to get their credential. 
So what does this look like from a student's perspective? Well, I have gone ahead and enrolled myself in this course using one of my other accounts, my student account, so I can see exactly what this will look like. So I've uh, welcomed myself into the course. I'm going to click here to begin. I'm now presented with these. I see that all employees have to complete this quiz. If I am a team lead, I need to complete this one as well. If I'm a department chair, I need to complete all three of these to get started and unlock all of these credentials. I can see that um, the modules here are grayed out. I can't get to any of these until I meet the prerequisites. So let's go ahead and complete this basics quiz here. I start the quiz. Yes, I am enrolling for the basics. Submit my answer. Okay, now I can go back to my modules area and I can see that the next module for all employees has unlocked. I can see my content in here and I can complete this quiz. So I'll complete this sample quiz here. Yes, submit my quiz. I'm done with this one. If I go back to my badges area now, I can see that the Digital Accessibility Basics uh, badge has now unlocked for me, and these two are not available to me yet because I have not completed those requirements. Now, as a student, I can actually come back into this course at any time if I want to upgrade my credentials. Let's say that I have been promoted within the organization and I am now a team lead. Well, I can come back into, uh, into the course. I can click on the getting started here for department chairs or for team leads. Take this quiz and click yes. So now I am a team lead. Come back to my modules area. Now my second uh, topic has unlocked for me and any other topics that are tagged with having that getting started admin as a prerequisite. So if I look at my content here and move ahead to my quiz, I click on take the quiz, submit my answers for that. Everything is good. I come back to my badges area and give it a moment and my second badge should unlock for me. There we go. I have my second badge. So now if I progress through the organization and I need to complete uh, that final module, I can come back in. I can go to my modules area and click on that quiz to get started and upgrade my credential at any time on my differentiated pathway.